previously we discussed the small intestine and we said that in the small intestine we have digestion and absorption taking place. So we break down the many macromolecules into their constituent units and then the enterocytes, the cells of the small intestine, absorb those nutrients and transport those nutrients into the bloodstream and into our lymph system of our body. Now, in this lecture, we're going to focus on the proteolytic digestive enzymes that are produced by the small intestine as well as by the pancreas. And we're also going to discuss several important hormones that basically stimulate the process of digestion that are released by the small intestine. So, let's begin with the proteolytic digestive enzymes of the small intestine. So, as soon as our acidic chyme actually leaves the stomach and enters our small intestine, it stimulates the small intestine to secrete specialized proteolytic enzymes. So, two categories are disaccharidases and peptidases. And both of these proteolytic enzymes are found at the brush border, at the villi of our small intestine. So, disaccharidases are those proteolytic digestive enzymes that break down our disaccharides, so sugars that consist of two individual monomers. So, three important types of disaccharidases that you should be familiar with is maltase, which breaks down maltose, we have sucrase, which breaks down sucrose, and we have lactase, which breaks down lactose. Now, peptidases are basically those proteolytic enzymes that break down our peptides. And a specific type of peptidase that is found at the brush border is dipeptidase. Dipeptidase is a proteolytic enzyme that breaks the peptide bonds in a peptide that only consists of two amino acids. And both of these categories of enzymes are found at the brush border of our villi in the small intestine. Now, deep in our villi of the small intestine, we have these exocrine glands that are known as the crypts or glands of Liberkine, and they secrete and produce a special type of proteolytic enzyme known as enterokinase. And what enterokinase does is it basically cleaves a specialized type of zymogen known as trypsinogen, and it activates trypsinogen and transforms it into trypsin. And trypsin is a very important type for proteolytic enzyme, as we'll see in just a moment, that ultimately not only cleaves peptide bonds, but it also activates many other proteolytic enzymes in our digestive system. Now let's discuss the three important types of hormones that are produced by the small intestine and which actually stimulate the process of digestion. Let's begin with a peptide hormone known as secretin. So, secretin is yet another peptide hormone that is released by our exocrine, by our glands found in the small intestine. And what secretin basically does is it stimulates the pancreas to release the pancreatic juice, which consists of many proteolytic enzymes, as we'll see in just a moment. Now, another type of peptide hormone that is released by the small intestine is CCK, which stands for cholecystokinin. Now, cholecystokinin is a peptide hormone that doesn't only stimulate the pancreas to release the pancreatic juice, but it also stimulates the, uh, the liver to produce the bile that is necessary to emulsify our fat to break down the surface area of the fat, to increase the surface area of the fat, and to allow the lipase, the proteolytic enzymes, to break down that fat efficiently and effectively. And finally, we have another hormone that is involved in the breakdown of fat. This is known as enterogastrone. So, this is our hormone that is stimulated by the presence of fat and lipids inside the small intestine. 
And what enterogastrone does is it basically causes a decrease in the movement of the chyme along our small intestine and that gives the lipase and other proteolytic enzymes more time to break down the macromolecules, especially the fats and lipids found inside the small intestine. So these are the different types of proteolytic enzymes produced by the small intestine and these are the hormones produced by the small intestine. Now let's move on to the pancreas. So the pancreas is basically an accessory gland that produces specialized proteolytic enzymes that are needed in digestion. So we have this combination of proteolytic enzymes as well as a solution of bicarbonate that forms the pancreatic juice. And when stimulated, the pancreas releases the pancreatic juice into the pancreatic duct, which basically connects with the common bile duct. And this combination of bile and the pancreatic juice empties into the small intestine. So the question is, what is the purpose of bicarbonate? So bicarbonate is that molecule that ultimately neutralizes the acidity that comes along with the chyme that uh, comes from our stomach. And what the bicarbonate does is it increases the basicity of our solution. It gives our solution inside the lumen of the small intestine a pH of about 8.5. Now, we have three important types of categories of enzymes that are produced in the pancreas. So we have the pancreatic amylase and the pancreatic lipase, not to confuse them with the amylase and the lipase that are produced in the oral cavity in our mouth. Now, pancreatic amylase is responsible for breaking down alpha glycosidic linkages. So that means it breaks down starch as well as glycogen into their individual monomers. Now, we also have pancreatic lipase, which is responsible for breaking down fats and lipids into fatty acids, which can then be absorbed by dentericides of the small intestine. And finally, we have the pancreatic peptidases. So we have three important types of peptidases that we should be familiar with. We have trypsinogen, we have chymotrypsinogen, and we have our carboxypeptidase. So trypsinogen is this zymogen that we spoke of earlier. So our pancreas produces our trypsinogen and when our enterokinase mixes with trypsinogen, it cleaves it and it forms the active form known as trypsin. And trypsin doesn't only cleave peptides at specific peptide bonds, but it also activates other enzymes as we'll see in just a moment. So let's move on to chymotrypsinogen. Chymotrypsinogen is yet another type of peptidase that is produced by the pancreas. And chymotrypsinogen is activated by trypsin. So trypsin actually activates chymotrypsinogen into chymotrypsin. And what chymotrypsin does is it breaks down our peptide bonds and aromatic amino acids. And now let's move on to the third type of proteolytic uh, peptidase produced by the pancreas known as the carboxypeptidase. So carboxypeptidase is a proteolytic enzyme that breaks down peptide bonds at the carboxy end of our peptide, of our polypeptide. So these are the three different types of peptidases that are released by the pancreas. So let's summarize what we just discussed. So basically, as the acidic chyme moves into our lumen of the small intestine, it basically activates the release of our secretin and CCK, the chylocystokinin, by the small intestinal glands found in the villi, deep along the villi of our small intestine. So secretin stimulates the release of the pancreatic juice, which includes pancreatic amylase, pancreatic lipase, and the pancreatic peptidases, our trypsinogen, which is activated into trypsin by enterokinase. We have the chymotrypsinogen, which is activated into chymotrypsin by trypsin, and we have 
have carboxypeptidase. Now, the, chylo, uh, the chylocystokinin basically activates and stimulates the liver to release the bile. And the bile is a collection, it's a mixture of water and cholesterol fat, as well as bile salts. And this causes fat emulsification. It breaks down our fat, it increases the surface area of that fat, so that our lipase can actually break down chemically those bonds that hold the lipids together. Together. And we also have the stimulation of these types of uh, proteolytic enzymes that are found at the brush border. So we have the production of disaccharidases such as maltase, sucrase, and lactase, and we have the production of dipeptidases which break down our proteins or peptides that only consist of two amino acids. So these are our proteolytic enzymes produced by the small intestine, these are the proteolytic enzymes produced by the pancreas, and these are the hormones produced by the small intestine that are involved in the process of digestion.